It was the trial that sparked America's true crime obsession. Before Jeffrey Dahmer, before O.J. Simpson, there was Pamela Smart. It was 1991. 23-year-old Smart was facing a life sentence for recruiting her 15-year-old lover, Billy Flynn, to kill her husband, Gregory. News cameras flooded the courthouse and for the first time provided gavel-to-gavel -gavel coverage of the trial. The country tuned in every night to watch the gruesome details of Gregory Smart's death unfold in real time. Flynn and three accomplices pled guilty to second-degree murder. Smart was charged with plotting the killing and sentenced to life without parole. She told me to take the Nearly 30 years have gone by and Smart remains in prison for a crime she says she didn't do. After Flynn and the three other teens convicted in the case were released on parole, a petition to reduce Smart's sentence was forwarded to New Hampshire Governor Chris Sununu. No decision has been made. The Washington Post's Manuel Roy Franzia traveled to Bedford Hills Correctional Facility to speak with Smart about her trial, the sentence, and her hope for a parole hearing. So did you come in thinking that 28 years later you'd still be here? Absolutely not. After I'd been sentenced, um, I still had hope that it would be overturned on appeal. I never felt like this was really going to be forever. And if somebody would have told me, you know, you, you'll be doing this for 20, 30 years or something, I would have thought that I, would, I could never have survived. Many of the people who have petitioned for you would be described as feminists. Do you consider your cause to be a feminist cause? I don't know if I would just, you know, um, characterize it as feminist, period. I think that for a lot of people, the fact that um, the media latched onto this case and, and made it so sensational was really because I was a woman on trial. And that's a totally different experience than being a man on trial. If this story were a made-for-TV movie, and it surely will be, you might not believe it. I definitely didn't have a fair trial. I mean, my trial was completely infected by the media. Every day when I went into court, they would describe what I was wearing, how my hair was, um, what I look like, and it would never just say, Pamela Smart came to court today. Why did you marry Rich Because I loved him. People, and to an extent, I guess we have to say the jury, believe that you manipulated a young man they did. through your sexual wiles. Right. And that he became obsessed with you and that he killed for you. Mm -hmm. I pulled the trigger. I understand that you say that you didn't plan right. this murder. What if somebody said to you, if you would admit to being guilty of what you were convicted of, you could have your sentence reduced and eventually leave prison and not have to spend your whole life here. How would you respond to that? I've thought about that over many, many years. And, you know, there were times when, when I said, I would never do that because, you know, I'm not guilty and I'm not gonna plead guilty to something that I didn't do. And then there were other times when I felt like, I don't care if they say I, I tried to kill President Trump. At this point, just let me out of here, you know? But right now, that's not just not an option anyhow. More than once you've described depression right. uh, a, as a place, as a physical place that you wanted to stay out of. Right. When you sit down and say, oh my God, like what if I really have to spend the rest of my life in here? Then it's, it's like, so overwhelming you know it's always like yes just hang on a little bit longer but what is the alternative not to hang on to kill myself you know so really I well the alternative is that you breathe your last breath here right. where we are in Bedford right. Hills right yes and that is a possibility that could happen so you kept your wedding ring mm -hmm. and wore my it. mom has it so why do you keep it why wouldn't I I mean, I'm still married. You consider yourself still married? Yes. After 25 years behind bars, parole granted for Billy Flynn. I will always feel terrible about what happened 25 years ago. Well, you certainly got the news when Billy Flynn and the others were released from prison. Oh, I got that news, yeah. I was mad, but I can't say I was shocked. There are many days since then when it's like a really beautiful sunny day or something and all of a sudden this thought will come through my brain like, 
you know, they're probably at the beach right now, mm -hmm. you know, living the high life or whatever, and I'm in here, this is crazy. And then I get all mad, but then like I said, I have to try to pull myself out of that because what, it's only destructive. It's not gonna do me any good to stay inside that anger. I don't wanna come out and feel like my life was wasted. If I'm able to get out of here, what good will it be if I'm a this hard, bitter, angry, you know, disgruntled person? What's the point of even getting out? It's like a fight every day to retain who I really am, which is totally different than what everybody thinks I am.